All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning, looking at a very nice pro-built 1932 Ford High Boy Roadster. Very well done, built here in Lake Havasu by Havasu Speed Equipment. Uh, very meticulous build, hundreds of hours. We're gonna walk around and tell you what we know about it as like we always do. We spent a lot of time documenting this car and going over almost every square inch of it. There's absolutely no way I can cover everything that you see kind of car I would describe as one that you can uh, most certainly drive but also take trophies and awards with. A lot of thought went into every panel on this car uh, to the point where Havasu Speed actually has a jig that they can place the body on and make sure all its tolerances are absolutely correct. He does little modifications here and there all the way through looking at the stance there at the front. It's finished in a Jag Green Racing green, beautifully done, high-end finish on it. The interior is done by Makia Upholstery out of Lakeside, California. Has a Duval windshield on it. The top on this is just beautiful, beautifully proportioned to the point where he actually, uh, the builder, spent time making sure it's hand-built. And they actually had several hot rodders come by and just make sure, three different versions to get the top just right. So these Duval windshields can be a little bit tricky. Has a African ma mahogany uh, header bar here that's custom built. The top's built. It has a back window in it. The body panels are, uh, like I talked about, fit. They actually reworked the wheel wells just a little bit to get them perfect in the panels there. I, like I said, I'll never cover everything as I go around here. Duval, Duval windshield has a really neat dual cowl feature here. The hood itself has a custom latching system so you can put the hood, take the hood top completely off um, or you can take the hood sides off and none of the brackets will be visible. Uh, hairpin front end, real deuce rail chassis, one and three quarter tube, one and a quarter structure underneath. We'll actually spend some time underneath the hood. The chassis is actually smoothed and finished just the top to bottom of this car. When we get it up on the lift, you'll see that the undercarriage is just beautiful. It has uh, Buick uh, drum brakes in the front, polished drum drums on it, drilled dropped axle. Uh, I believe that's about, I don't know what the drop is on it, but I'll have that up when I do the uh, lift. I actually have a cheat sheet. I should probably go back and get it so I make sure I don't miss anything. Spent a lot of time with cars like these. I've had it for several days here in Lake Havasu, just kind of getting a feel for it. The gentleman that owns it's out of Prescott. The hood, obviously, is uh, all louvered top, bottom, sides. It's a Brookville body, all steel. It's got stamp panels. It's got a hidden roll bar in the rear. The grill shell itself has been lowered about one inch in the front here so it gives it kind of a little bit of a raked feel to the hood which is something they did back in the day three three piece hood with special hidden latching system that allows top only use without seeing supports tops in the hood sides have been louvered the cowl has been refabricated to look like a uh, 35 to 36 ford we'll get in and cover the dash for you but you'll see how it flows differently than a deuce um, the grill emblem here is custom sunken in and it's a sterling silver piece that says deuce on the front. I chose to shoot this in the sun. It's a you know a Jaguar racing green, Jaguar racing green or Jag racing green and it's a dark green so it almost looks black in the shade or like on this side of the car but it's very nicely done. It has a uh, Duval windshield modified to blend into a custom center step hood dash panel is custom fabricated custom fabricated tail panel we'll get to that in just a minute traditional hairpin style front end on it probably should step back and let you take another look at this angle very nice like I said I spent some time with this car wait till I fire it up for you spend some time under the hood that type of thing open the door here nice peep mirrors a lot of custom fabrication here a lot of one-off pieces you hear me mention the uh, builder throughout my video and that's there's a reason for that is because he is extremely meticulous um, and everything's got to be just right. This McKee upholstery is almost like a I'd call it a saddle tan leather 
beautifully done not necessarily a bomber feel but maybe a little bit it looks like it's uh, grandpa's saddle and it's got that kind of feel and smell to it german square weave carpet custom dash that we talked about here glove box turn metal insert there we'll cover some more as we go down but i want to give you a feel hot rod heater a lot of the heater lines are all custom fabricated and they flow up in and they're um, it's not just hoses run from the front. Controls and switches, got a trick start system on it. The top actually has a, uh, and you'll see it when we get in the trunk, a panel that goes in the back window that's a hard shell glass rear window. A lot of guys run without the rear window because they like to feel a little bit of air. Kind of opens the compartment just a little bit. Doors shut like a bank vault. Again, Dan goes to the link to make sure every dimension is correct in how it sits on the frame. It's sitting on original 32 deuce rails, frame rails. And I know I may repeat myself from time to time. The look and feel, it's really hard to get these just right. Um, sometimes guys go a little bit too big on the back tires. It's just got that good feel. It has a custom uh, suspension in the rear where Dan's built custom link points and a uh, stabilizer bar car has about 1800 miles on it. The rear deck lid has been louvered. We'll cover some more panels here. It has custom frame horn covers that are actually removable. Chrome spreader bar. You'll see how they use stainless hardware. The Pontiac tail lights and this whole back panel has been completely reworked and you wouldn't you know when modifications are done right and they're so subtle you really don't notice it till you stand up and look closer. Um, this whole rear body panel has been recessed throughout here so it's a custom made hand built hand formed body panel this is a light recessed area around the tail lights very subtle pinstriping on it you can see my reflection here it has a uh, Arizona copper license plate it's handmade chrome and brass with a uh, uh, brass von Dunch flying eyeball and it's actually the the actually the license plate also you notice the uh, the tank here actually has some louvers on it. Just the little subtle things, deck lid. We'll actually get in the trunk here with you and cover it. But you get a good, really good feel here. We're probably going to stop in a minute here because the trash truck's going to roll in, and then I'll do a little break, and then I'll cover the in, the uh, interior video. Step back and let you give it a little look, and we'll take a little break here. All right, carrying on here, we'll get inside the car and kind of give you a good feel, and we'll fire it up in just a minute. Uh, anyway, as we go around the panels, the fit, everything is just uh, a lot of time is spent on this car, and I know I can probably, there's no way to cover everything. I can just cover the portions that I see right now. We could make a list that was uh, several pages long, and uh, we'll have a lot of information at Spud's Garage. Get you inside here again, McKee upholstery, Howard McKee out of Lakeside, California did it and he's done several cars for this gentleman. This particular gentleman, every roadster he's ever built over time uh, or owned, he's done in a uh, Jag Racing Green. He likes the feel. This tan leather interior is just beautiful. You can kind of get a, a good feel in the light there of how the uh, upholstery uh, it just has that nice uh, western saddle style feel inside. Little door pockets here, obviously. Leather door straps. German square weave carpet. Look up underneath here. A lot of time. It's got a custom start switch on, switch on it. Special recessed panels. Turn metal. Tack here. 44 Deluxe steering wheel on it. Very much uh, just a smooth look and feel. Not overdone, just right. Notice how the dash flows like a 35, 36 Ford Roadster. Um, you kind of get a feel here. It's just got a flowing dash, different than a Deuce Auburn style insert. I'm going to back in here. Again, I pointed out the uh, glove box over there on the right side. Full auto meter gauges. Neat little. Uh, Cal vent here. This is the cal vent knob. 
you'll see I lifted them up there what a cool place to put it hot rod heater in here like we talked about headlight controls and everything here on the center start switch you'll notice it's got the little LEDs for the high beams and the turn signals located on the drop down here starts over here we'll actually start this up and give you a pretty good feel of it pull the e-brake on fun car I talk about the engine I don't think I spent enough time on the specs but you want to go to spudsgarage.com pro built 327 Chevy by the same speed shop that built this car like the low car shifter Tremec 5 speed I didn't cover that with you quick change rear differential you can hear it out here <laughs> Crisp horsepower is what I'd describe there. Here's the cam. Give a goose it one more time here, kind of give you a feel outside so you can get a feel of the sound. Anyway, hey, get in, hang on to the end of the video, go to spudsgarage.com. If you're looking for an absolutely bitchin' 32 High Boy Roadster, give us a call. We're never any pressure. Alright, as promised, we'll get you underneath the hood here. Very nicely done. It was fun taking the hood off. It's uh very nice well engineered piece that was designed by the builder who does a lot of hand fabricated things as we mentioned during the walk around uh, level of detail follows all the way through as you would expect also the engine itself is hand is designed and hand assembled by Dan at Havasu Speed and he's very much a uh, meticulous guy and likes to build crisp horsepower is how I would describe it it's a 327 Chevy block so it's a 327 Chevy that has uh, forged crankshaft in it. It has the uh, full roller camshaft in it. Aluminum cylinder heads. I'm going to fire it up here for you as we go along and kind of give you a feel. It has a uh, Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold polished EPS performer. It has a AFB style Edelbrock carburetor, four barrel carburetor on it. Just good awesome basic horsepower in it. It has uh, Ram Horn uh, style exhaust manifold headers that have been ceramic coated or heat coated as a power master gen which is an alternator and a generator housing it's a loop polished aluminum housing nice cooling in the back here has a high capacity heavy duty radiator in it with a uh, dual fan belts on it just a good extra security if you lost one belt you'd still have one drive in it just that kind of stuff makes a rod uh, gives you a hot rod confidence fit and finish inside is just like the outside of the car and the bottom of the car we're actually going to spend some time up on the lift with you and show you the finish on the firewall and the undercarriage are much the same just like the exterior of the car you can see the the uh they put a patent plate on there for good look and feel he's done uh clear protectant tape so the from the hood so it doesn't rub onto the paint of the car has a uh inline fuel pressure regulator here a fuel pressure gauge so you know where your pressure's at fuel pressure regulator right here has a mechanical uh, fuel pump down there the uh, the uh, heater coolant lines actually run down and we'll show you that on the frame they run down and he's got custom tubes that were hand built and powder coated that go back here to the hot rod heater down in here has a TKA, TKO 5 speed uh, transmission in it Tremec it has a uh, flamethrower uh, Petronics flamethrower billet distributor so electronic ignition flamethrower coil everything's tidy and right heat shrink wires nicely tucked heat wrapped here has an aluminum uh, timing plate cover right there obviously that's the oil pressure gauge so it's got a uh, mechanical style gauge on it which is nice Anyway, we think you get the idea. All right, as promised, we're going to fire it up here for you and share a little bit more. Ah! 
One of the things I forgot to mention, it has 4130 rods in it. We'll have all the spec sheets in Spud's garage. Um, just wanted to share it with you running so you can hear it. Get back here where you can hear it run. Back up front here again, give it a little more juice. There you go. All right, as promised, we'll get in the trunk here and we'll share the trunk compartment with you. Same level of detail all the way through. The interior is just spectacular on this car. Front to back, a lot of neat custom one-off things all the way through it as we've talked about. Um, you'll see the build book there. I'll cover it for you in just a minute. Bottom side of the deck lid here is closed off from the elements. Obviously, it's louvered on the top side. Bomber style leather. Excellent custom fabrication throughout. It's got a uh, structured roll bar through the back here. And what they've decided to do is they had a custom uh, hand laced and wrapped around the bar leather. Speaker covers here in the back. Seat belts are all mounted first class, professional style, safe. See the fire extinguisher back there. And this compartment right here is a uh, rear window for it. And we talked about that. It's in, hidden in the trunk here, so you can put the rear window in. It is a glass rear window that matches the top, and it just snaps right in. Little courtesy light up in here. Billet trunk support. German square weave carpet. And then there's the build book here that you know documents the entire process, the build, the mock-up stages, all the way through the process. The body, a lot of the body modifications that were done by Havasu Speed. Buick drum back, backing plates, the uh, polish in the rear differential, the V8 quick change in the back. Here's the bar that I just showed you that was wrapped rear body panels recessed all the stuff we talked about when we went there a lot of the plumbing on the inside up here underneath the uh, heater assembly you see where these are all custom fabricated here I could spend all day covering this book for you and all the different there's the uh, recessed uh, hood ornament on it grill shells drop the recessed dash panels here Anyway, we think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Definitely hang on to the end of the video. Have a great day. All right, we took the uh, rear window out so we could show you. It's in its own little uh, protected bag that goes in the back that we just talked about. Uh, and then the uh, rear window itself is a hard shell material that's custom made. So it's not flopping around back there in the top. Once you put this thing in there, it's solid. This is glass. I'll turn it over here for you. There's two snaps in the back where it just snaps in and then this is a, uh, a flush surface that it mounts on. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Hang on for more. All right, as promised, we told you we'd get it up on the spuds lift after doing the walk around on it. We actually do this before. Uh, we do the walk around so we get a really good feel for a car and we've studied enough where we can kind of give you a good feel on the walk around. Uh, so this is the end of the video. Anyway, very nicely done by Havasu Speed Equipment. He's very meticulous how he does each and every component. There's a lot of hand built components on this car. Inside and out, top to bottom kind of thing. Uh, these frame rail covers on the back are fully removable. Again, all hand built and fab by Dan at Havasu Speed. We'll kind of give you a peek down the side here. Go to the back here, 32, original 32 Ford uh, frame that's been fully boxed and pinched up front. It has a uh, four, or it has a V8 quick change rear end in it with a 319, 3, 320 ratio, just about right for the uh, 
So it's got plenty of good highway legs with the uh, TKO five speed in there, Tremec. Has uh, Ford hydraulic drum brakes in the rear, late model style. One of the things too in the back here, it's a buggy spring, Model A buggy spring suspension in the rear, which gives these cars a really nice little ride, kind of smooth. It also gives it, when you're looking at these high boys that are fenderless, a lot of guys want the look and feel of old school. So the Model A buggy spring was something they did back in the day and it actually is a great ride. There's a lot of custom link suspension here that Dan's added in here and hand built. His welds are absolutely incredible. Again, a very meticulous uh, builder. This car is a very high-end build. Frame rails are fully boxed. The body chassis is the exact same color of the body of the exterior of the car. The floor pans are same color. I'll get you a good light feel there. I can kind of get a feel. Has a, uh, a custom anti-roller sway bar. You'll see the billet lightened extended arms up there that come down here. So a stabilizer bar in the rear, gas shocks, just a nice silver simple feel kind of thing these buggy springs are really nice all everything's hand built and done low car it has an emergency brake so it's low car uh, style emergency brake cables on it we're going to slide this bar back here in a minute after we talk about the exhaust a little bit more the exhaust is custom built the tailpipes themselves here wrap up and over like they're supposed to they're all used with uh, uh, aircraft style bolts 12 points on them silicone rubber mounts that will come apart so you can take these things apart in pieces and actually work on components of the car without a bunch of drama of uh, moving things out of the way other than just the exhaust i'll slide this back here so i can give you a better feel it's a uh the chassis itself again original henry ford chassis that's been fully boxed and modified it has a one and three quarter tube cross structure in it, one, two, five tubing. Custom made battery box here. I know a lot of these guys that assembled this car and this is a very, very well built car. Up here you're gonna see uh, some of the wiring but you'll see the master cylinder. This right here is a dual reservoir master cylinder, kind of a Corvette style. It has a hydraulic clutch with a butter smooth feel to it. These TKO 5 speeds are very nice. Nice legs will kind of give you a feel up into here. Uh, GM style, early style, uh, Corvette style bell housing on it. Up front here, traditional chrome uh, hairpin style front suspension. We'll kind of get out of the chassis here and kind of give you a feel. As I go around, I know you get the idea, but if you're really seriously interested in a car like this, you really want to get a good look at the undercarriage and that kind of thing and the quality of the build. You'll see up into the corners here, battery box, the way things are done. The exhaust, again, from the tailpipes forward are all uh, hush power mufflers. Tailpipes forward all, again, you can take things apart here in pieces. This is all ceramic coated and custom built. A lot of time goes into the exhaust system just alone. You'll see that the heater, the heater hoses are nicely routed with custom bent powder coated lines that actually have little retaining spots. So a lot of time spent just on the heater hose lines. Uh, mini high torque starter. Again, the hairpin, chrome hairpin front suspension. It has a, uh, I believe that's about a four inch dropped axle on it. It's a chrome plated axle that's been lightened. So it's got drill holes in it. It has polished Buick uh, brake drums on it, Buick hydraulic brakes in the front, uh, drum brakes. You'll see the custom vents on the back side of the Buick brakes. These are polished uh, drums. Again, T-Dis assembly, nylocks, pan hard bar up front here, steering stabilizer to keep some bump steer out of it. And Dan spends a lot of time dialing these in right. And by now you've already heard the sound of the car. We'll actually have fired it up in the engine and done the engine compartment with you. Kind of do a reverse walk around here and kind of give you a good feel of the front end. Again, I know I've spent a lot of time. We think you get the idea. Take you up into the chassis here to again give you a feel of the finish on it. Definitely a car you can drive. 
Definitely a car to take a wipe down if you drove it on a rainy day. I don't know that I'd want to do that. High quality build. Have a great day. Thanks for coming to Spud's Garage. Give us a call. We're never any pressure. Talk to you later.